let's get started with a bit of preparation. So within iTerm, I'm going to create a directory for the various lessons that we'll use in this course, and we'll call this Tips, Tricks, Pitfalls, and I'll see the end to that. Next, within here, maybe we'll have a directory for source, and then maybe a directory for our tests. All right, so now we have that. Next, I want to make it easy to auto-load all of our classes. And what I mean by that is, at the top of every test class, I don't want to have to say, require so-and-so file. I just want that to be automatically included if it's needed. And we can do that using Composer. Now, if you are a PHP developer and don't have Composer installed on your machine, do that right now. It's the future of PHP. You're going to go to getcomposer.org, follow a couple steps to install that, and when you're done, you should be able to run either composer.far, or if you install it globally, just run composer, and now you can pull in any dependencies that you require. And it also includes a perfect autoloader out of the box. It's really great. To make use of this, we're going to touch a composer.json file, and I'll go ahead and open this up within my editor. Within here, let's open up composer.json, and this is just a bit of JavaScript, just JSON, where we can specify which files we want to autoload. So for example, I could say autoload, and then within an object, we can either specify a PSR0 autoload, or you can even just specify a class map. These classes I want to be autoloaded if they're requested, and that's what we're going to do. So we'll say class map, and now I will specify anything within the source directory that we created. So anything within this folder will be auto-loaded now. So now that we've set up our minimal composer.json file, I will run composer install. That'll get everything ready to go, and it'll also generate the auto-load files. So now, notice that I have this vendor directory. Within it, I have an autoload.php, and within composer, we have these various class maps and namespaces that are being auto-loaded for us. In this case, we don't have any files yet, but when we do add more files, we can simply run a composer.dump, and that will automatically be pulled in. Let me show you an example. Let's edit source slash foo.php, class foo, it'll extend nothing, and we'll give it a namespace of Acme. Now, if I run a composer dump autoload, or I can just leave it to composer dump or even composer du, because the Symfony component that's responsible for this command line tool is set up that way. But I just stick with composer dump. Now, if I come back and reload, notice that we have this new file listed. So we're saying when Acme foo is requested in a class, the path to that file is going to be slash source slash foo.php. So now let's try to create a test just as an example here foo test.php class foo test extends php unit framework test case and now let's just add our first test test it works now first let's run new baz just something that we know doesn't exist php unit tests and of course we get class not found however we know that acme slash foo exists but if I run that too, we're going to get the exact same thing. And this is something that trips up a lot of people who are first starting to use Composer. Now remember, Composer isn't magical. It's not just automatically going to chime in when it needs to. We must specify that we want to use Composer's autoload.php file as a bootstrap. So basically what we want to say is before we load this file, we want autoload.php to run. So for example, let's just require it here temporarily at the top of the class require the current directory, and then we'll go outside of it into vendor slash autoload.php. Let's see if that works now. Run it again, and sure enough, we don't get any errors. But now this is almost as bad as requiring the file for every single test class. What we really want is to tell PHP unit to do that for us automatically without us needing to require it at the beginning of every test class. So we will review how to do that in the next lesson.